So we are going to start our next stitch and our series of five basic stitches. So, so far uh, we have looked at the stem stitch. We have looked at the satin stitch uh, and we have looked at the blanket stitch. Today we are going to be looking at the chain stitch. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to begin right here along this line. I'm going to start in the back like this and pull up. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to go down right next to where I pulled up. Make sure that uh, you don't grab the wrong thing there. Okay. Now, before I pull all the way out here so you can see what my thread looks like, I'm going to go inside that loop. Okay, you can see where that is. I'm going to pull up. Right. And there is my first chain. I'm going to leave it kind of big so that you can see it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down again right beside where I just came up. Okay. And once again I have another loop. So I'm going to go up into that chain there. Pull my loop in, put my little chain in there, just like that. So there's my second chain. And now I'm going to go down right beside I just made. I'm making these kind of big so you can kind of see them. So usually I make them smaller than this, <clears throat> but I want to give you a good idea of what the stitch looks like. Okay. Go down right beside where we came up. I'm going to pull, <clears throat> go up from the back, and grab that chain, just like that. A little smaller here. Okay. Right, so I'm going to do this a couple more times so that you can see what I am doing. <clears throat> Come back down right beside it. Come up through the loop. Right. And that is your chain stitch. Like I said, we usually do it a little bit smaller. I kind of went from big to much smaller here. Uh, but that is the basic stitch. Obviously, you can can adjust that to make it the size that you want. Um, but usually when I make mine, it's a little bit smaller. So that is our fourth stitch, the chain stitch.